На позиции. Everyone, get ready for battle. We're surrounded. Tanks are shooting at us. Some of the footage of this epic battle went viral. In this episode, you will see and hear from the participants the full picture of this complex battle in one of the hottest spots of the Ukrainian front. In the Avdivka direction, the 47th Brigade of the AFU had to stop the Russian occupiers' troops who had launched an assault with huge columns of armored vehicles and infantry. They were met by FPV drones, tanks, Bradleys, and the Ukrainian infantry took the brunt of the attack. One of the groups was surrounded. This video has an uncensored version available to the channel sponsors. Details are in the description. So, let's go. It was hell. There was no other way to characterize it. We faced a massive enemy offensive. There was a lot of their armored vehicles, a lot of them. They were moving toward us in columns. We did not expect such a breakthrough in several columns and in such numbers of both personnel and armored vehicles. An enemy landing force. Yeah, I see them running around there too. Everyone in position. The enemy continues active offensive in the Avdivka sector. Every week they try to break our defenses. The enemy is sending large forces to take other settlements. It was close. He looked out over there, between the trees and hid. They're already nearby. I can hear them. That was the enemy screaming. They are literally close by. Everyone, ready for battle. I see them. They're shooting at us. Watch out. I saw one of them get out and run back. Throw a grenade, guys. Hold the sectors. Machine gun. Something is coming to us. Sam, the column storming our position. Move to the bridge. Roger that. When we joined the battle, we used Bradleys. They were used as a covering fire vehicle and as a means of transporting soldiers to the trenches to the necessary places for the assault. The first two pairs came in very well, landed the infantry, and the infantry started doing their job. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Move. Do not shoot at the trenches. It's us. We're coming to you. Virus, I am extreme. Plus, do not shoot there. Ours are coming from there cover so that our men can pass. Behind. The main task was to recapture certain positions lost by our friendly units. That is why our brigade was sent to reinforce them. Scream. Yes. On my command, you fire at the machine gunner. Copy that, Joker. Move to the right flank. I'll fire on the dugout. Give me a grenade. Give me another one. 
We had planned a certain operation, certain actions, and we worked out certain areas. And as soon as our armored vehicles rolled back, we saw enemy columns with more than 100 vehicles. It was about two brigades, two brigades that were on the offensive on a very narrow section of the front. An enemy assault is moving towards us. They are moving on vehicles, starting to land. They tried to move in several directions, in several columns, in order to succeed somewhere. Enemy armored vehicles. We met them with fire. Now our tanks will help. Bradleys were the first to enter the battle. And then our tanks also began to work on the enemy vehicles that were moving. Harp, I'm Hammer. Are you on your way? Over. Hammer, I'm Harp. I'm almost there. Ahead of you will be an intersection and a forest belt. Distance is two kilometers. There are enemy vehicles there. The orcs in this direction are somehow crazy. When we drove up to the trenches, they thought they could destroy Bradley with a machine gun. The shot came from that side, from there. Are they shooting at Bradley? They started shooting with a machine gun, but they didn't succeed. Then one of the scumbags took an RPG and shot me in the side. He hit me exactly on the side where I was sitting. The armored vehicle has withstood the impact. Everything is fine. There is some damage, but all the targets and even the vehicle are on the move. I didn't even feel the explosion. I just said on air, guys, we were hit. The crew laugh and ask, can we go? Yes, we can. And we left. If we compare the directions of the Robotsan area and where we were working now, there were many kilometers of minefields in the Robotsan area. The enemy was forced to move along one road and could not turn around there. And there was no such armor pressure there. Here the maneuvers are different. There are no minefields like there. They found places to deploy and approach our positions. And the difference is that the fighting with the enemy here is much tougher. Tanks and IVFs, small arms and machine guns were fired at our fighters. In addition, we faced enemy resistance and counterattacks. There's heavy armor moving this way, from the sound of it. From left. On 10 o'clock. On 10. Give me an anti-tank missile. Hurry up. Get down. Get down quickly. Enemy tanks. Get down, damn it. We are surrounded. Tanks are shooting at us. Shit. Enemy tanks are shooting at us. There were quite a few enemies, and when their offensive began, they landed a huge number of additional personnel in a very small area. We did not know how many of them were there. Everything was so dense that we could have missed and driven straight to the enemy. We counterattacked, but we did not know that they would attack with such forces. They attacked with very large convoys of vehicles. There were also a lot of infantry. The infantry was on tanks, on IVFs. The vehicles were just covered with their infantry. When our men started storming the trenches and began to advance a little, the columns wedged themselves into our combat formations. 
Accordingly, tanks and IVFs were firing at our fighters. But thank God, at that moment, our colleagues, the drone operators, worked very effectively. He's hitting. This is the first time I have seen such a large-scale operation of kamikaze drones, and I can characterize them as a very effective weapon. Thanks to the drones, we were able to react faster and were able to destroy certain armored vehicles that were moving and thus stop the enemy's advance. At the same time, our tanks worked. They worked very well. Respect to them. You hear the Bradleys coming from there? Bradleys moving on 12 o'clock. Cover your ears. Also, adjacent units, such as the Presidential Brigade, played a huge role because they had a very competent defense. They knew this terrain. They were blocking these columns of armored vehicles that were approaching and repelled the attacks of two columns. Our tankers helped a lot. They were just working 100%. Thanks to them, we are sitting here today. And the infantry are heroes in general. We're going to try to advance to that dugout. Who's ready to go with me? There are orcs between us. Don't go alone. Arcady left on his own. Don't worry, I'm going after. There to the left, on 11 o'clock. I hear voices from there. Take turns moving. Cover each other. We went in small groups because we know how to work in small groups very effectively. We calculated our efforts in such a way that we could recapture the positions for which we had a task. But at the same time, the enemy brought up reserves and in such numbers that we simply did not expect. We thought that the Bradley fire would suppress them and we did suppress them at first but there were too many of them. I mean, there were a lot of them in that trench. We were counting on one situation, but in the course of the battle, the situation changed and changed radically. How was Arkady? Arkady, he's near. I need grenades, over. Do you have grenades? Yes, Arkady needs grenades. Cover him. I'm throwing a grenade. Okay, go. I hit it. The others started to move. Now the enemies are throwing. There is a hole there, just a small hole. We have suffered certain losses and they are painful for us. We value every person. But this is a war. Unfortunately, there is no other way. And this is a very difficult experience for us. What is the situation? Has the enemy retreated? 
Negative. They are pressing. They are close and shouting surrender. Give me a rifle and you go back. I'll cover you. What are you talking about? Our guys are coming to help from there. He said, leave me the weapon and you go away. No, it won't be like that. We will leave here together. We need to break the circle, otherwise we have no chance. It's mortar fire at us. Yes, and it's getting closer. Yurt, this is ground, over. Ground, save your ammo. Two Bradleys are on their way to you. We'll try to get close to you. You just hold off their infantry. Hold the sectors. Suppress their infantry with machine gun fire. Come on, we have to hold out. The drone operators were paving our way. We were also corrected by soldiers from the trench who went to help the group. We broke through in two vehicles. I knew that there was one seriously wounded man, and they would need to carry him. How fast they could jump out of the trench and how fast they could carry him, I did not fully understand. Also, there was very dense fire everywhere, which made it difficult to understand where our guys were shooting from and from where the enemy. I'm not coming out, Max. We'll get you out, damn it. I can't even stand up, let alone walk. We will help you. Hang on. Do you have adrenaline to inject me? I'll try to walk. Calm down. Bradley's coming. We started to maneuver, and the driver saw our guys running towards us. Then I decided to shoot smoke to cover their movement. We also suppressed the enemy with cannon fire. The volley of these smoke grenades had a psychological effect on the enemy, the effect of surprise. They did not realize that it had started, and so we gained time. Is everyone listening? I go last, you go first. We shoot and run there. You get to Bradley, reload and cover the group. Go, 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 hurry up. Help me up, bro. Come on, guys. Hurry up, close it. We got in and left. We had to drive a kilometer and 200 meters. We drove for four minutes. We made it. Friends, please hold my legs. Bro, if you tell me to leave you in the trench one more time, I'll kick your ass. We need medics to meet him there. Bradley's crews performed well. We fulfilled the task and what was required of us. Hold his legs. Leopard tanks also took part in the battle. At first, they hit the enemy's manpower and then moving armored vehicles. I can confirm this for sure, because I saw with my own eyes how a leopard destroyed an enemy tank. Shot! The first armor piercing. Roger. Fire. A direct hit by a leopard destroyed an enemy tank, and I also saw infantry destroyed by them.
I don't understand why they would destroy so many armored vehicles and so many infantry to capture a small area. The estimated enemy losses in this battle, which we have accurately recorded from drones, are around 900 people. They will not see victory here as long as we are here. My guys and I are ready to stand until the end. If you were interested in today's episode and would like me to continue doing episodes like this next, then let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. You can support the author by the details in the description. Thank you.